Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be watercolor painting a group of balloons flying through the sky. First off, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be while well, drawing the outlines of the watercolor balloons with my pencil, Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil, and then after that I'm going to go ahead and watercolor paint all of the balloons in whatever colors or color I want to watercolor paint them in, and then after that I'm going to go ahead and go back over the lines that I previously drew with my mechanical pencil with my Sharpie S gel pen just to go ahead and make them look a little bit more distinct. But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get to drawing with my mechanical pencil first off and then as I said I'm going to go ahead and watercolor paint the balloons and then after that I'm going to go ahead and actually add all of the details that I want to add uh, but first off I do suppose I should probably actually draw all of the balloons that I want to draw in or that I want to watercolor paint in today's video so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with one right here and let's go and do another one right here And I am going to go back over and just make sure all of the lines connect up just a little bit better and everything like that. I'm just kind of getting the outlines done for the moment. I know there's going to be a lot of watercolor painting today. I'm kind of thinking I want to do all of these as just one color. Uh, that would be cool. But I'm also kind of thinking I want to do a bunch of different colors. Uh, but I am honestly kind of liking the idea of doing just one color for all of the balloons in this drawing today. Uh, so I might honestly do that, and uh, worst case scenario, if I want to do another drawing of balloons, I can always do multicolored in the future. Uh, but I think I'm gonna just, I might just be sticking to one color today. I'm not really exactly sure though. I'll have to figure that out once I actually start watercolor painting. And another thing I got to think about is what color I actually want to watercolor paint all of these balloons. I am not quite sure yet. I ain't gonna lie. I am not quite sure yet. And there we go. Okay, I think that's all of the ones I want to do. I think there's a couple more I can add, like right there, and like right there, and there we go, all done. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that all of the bottoms connect up, just like that. And I'm not gonna add the string right now, I'm gonna be doing that just all with pen. I see no reason to add any string right now gonna make sure all of that connects up and then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding facial details because of course all of these balloons are gonna have faces on it or on them uh, just to make sure that I don't watercolor paint over eyes or anything like that and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and get to watercolor painting so I'm thinking I just want all of these guys to be chilling today uh, so I'm thinking, honestly, I am kind of tempted to just uh, not really go for a lot of detail with the face, but I am kind of thinking I want to do that. I'm going to go and start with this guy right here. I'm going to do that like that, that like that, and then the mouth is just going to be going over like that. And there we go. I think I'm going to be sticking that for the face, and I'm not going to add any other facial details for the moment. I'm just going to leave it at that. But that's going to be the face that I'm going to be using on all of these balloons. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and add that to every single balloon. I think first off, I'm just gonna go over and just add all of the eyes, and then I'm gonna do the nose. That's, uh, oh, where's my eraser at? Oh, much better.
I don't know how I missed this balloon right here. Whoopsies. I messed that up quite I messed that eye up quite a bit. How did I miss this one too? I don't know how I'm doing this. Man, I'm really messing this up today. It is what it is. And there we go. All right, let's go and just add just the rest of the eye stuff right there. And then there are going to be other facial details as well, uh, but that's uh, th these are going to be the main ones that I just want to make note of while I'm watercolor painting. And there we go. I think that is all of them. So now, without further ado, I do think it is now time for me to go ahead and start watercolor painting the drawing at hand. Before I do that, though, I am going to go ahead and just take a sip of water. And I do kind of want to make all of these kind of multicolored, but I also kind of don't. I also kind of don't want to make these all multicolored. I think I'm going to be using my... Uh, two shader brush with that, that I have with me today this is a pretty good brush. I used this, I think, either last time or the time before when I watercolor painted. Can't remember what, when I did, but it's a, it's a pretty good brush. I like it quite a bit. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do more than one color, if I just want to do one color. I am kind of doing, tempted to do more than one color, but I do also just kind of didn't want to do one color in all honesty, and I'm not really exactly sure i think i kind of just want to stick to doing one color i kind of want to stick to doing one color and i am a sucker for blue so i think i might just do blue for all of these balloons right here uh, so all of these balloons are from a uh are from a what, what's what's it called the stupid uh is from the uh it's from oh what is it what is it? i can't remember what it's called oh it's from a Gender reveal party. It's the, it's a boy. It's a boy. It's from a gender reveal party. That's pretty funny.
Alrighty, I'm not super happy with that balloon, but it's done. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and continue with the blue. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, just the one right next to it. I think I'm, this time I'm going to start right in the middle. Just go right down from the middle and then just try to spread it out evenly on both sides. See if I can do that. That worked pretty well. All right, sweet. I got a little bit in the eyes, but whatever. Let's go for that again. Let's go and do the one right here. So I've been so stuck on doing it on the on the edge and everything like that, but honestly, I really do like how it looks like this too, and I think I'm going to be sticking with that, and I think I might actually leave that. I don't care. I'm going to go back over this one later on once it dries and, and just try to fix it, because I'm really not happy with this balloon, uh, but it is what it is. And now that I'm seeing how this is turning out with all of the blue, I'm kind of wanting to add some other colors. But also, I've already committed. I've already said, I've already said I'm going to do only blue, so... I kind of just want to commit to that. So I am going to commit to it. There we go. There's another one done. There were some, uh, there were some bristles on the end coming apart. So I just had to grab those. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Whoopsies, I got a bunch in that eye right there, but it is what it is.
and this is coming along pretty well. I know I've been talking. I know I have not been talking very much. I've been concentrating quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie, uh, but it's it's coming along pretty well. I certainly have no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. go and then I think I'm gonna go and do these two right here yeah definitely I want to go back over this one I'm not happy with that one at all but the rest of these I am decently happy with I don't know some of them I'm pretty happy with some of them I'm not I definitely think it's just me still getting used to watercolor painting I think once I'm used to watercolor painting a little bit more and a little bit better at it I definitely do think I want to revisit, revisit this concept again and give it another go because uh, I'm, I'm not the happiest with this is right now, but this is all kind of always how I feel with my watercolor paintings. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm not super happy with it. And then I add the pen and I'm like, holy shit, I love it. I'm such, I'm such a big fan kind of thing. Um, that's, that's usually how it goes with my watercolor paintings. Uh, so it might go the same way with this one as well. Uh, but either way, even if it doesn't, it is what it is. And it's still been an experience and it's still practice. So it's not a waste of time at all. Doing art is good, even if you don't like it, or even if you even if you don't like how it turns out. And if you don't like doing art, then don't do art kind of thing. But if it doesn't turn out the way you want, eh? Who cares? It's practice is practice, right? That's how I look at it, at least. There we go. And now I've just got the ones all on the top row to do, and then I'll be all done with watercolor painting. Except for that one, I've got to, I've got to refix that one. Move these a little bit away. And I think one thing that I really want to get better about about watercolor too is is making uh, consistent shades of color. Uh, it's definitely something I'm not super good at yet, and that's definitely something I do want to get better at. Uh, getting a consistent shade of color is not something I have really figured out how to do yet, and uh, it's definitely something I want to be able to do. Whoopsies, that was not what I intended to do. Make sure it's all good. Sweet, sweet, it's all good. Uh, but it's something I have not figured out how to do yet, but it's definitely something I do uh, want to be able to do. If I can make all of, I want like, I would love to be able to make all of these balloons have exactly the same shade of blue. I think that would be sick. I think that would be really sick. I really do love doing that sort of stuff where everything has the exact same shade. Everything has the exact same face. And that, I am very happy with how that balloon turned out. I am very happy with how the turn, balloon turned out. I have no complaints on my behalf about that balloon, that is for sure.
maybe if I'm remembering correctly, when I remembered I want about watercolor, there's two different kinds. There's there's wet on dry, there's dry on dry. No, three kinds. There's wet on wet, dry on dry, and dry on wet. And maybe what I prefer is doing wet on wet because I feel like the shading is a lot easier. Or I feel like the tones are a lot easier to control, even though the paper is a lot more wet, which is not really to my preference because I don't like it when my paper bends. Uh, but hmm, maybe, maybe it's something to think about. It's something to think about. And then one more to do, and I've just got to redo that one, and then I'm all done. Yeah, I think my problem with the first one is I went just too heavy in with the pigment. And so it's way too pigmented, and I really don't want it to be like that. So I'm just going to get it soaking wet and just try to fix it in any way I can. Just try to rip up as much color, as much pigment as possible. And I'm ripping it up, but it's coming off in pieces. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do that. Okay, I think I'm actually just going to leave it as is. It's 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 whatever. It's whatever. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry my pencil off. I am all done. So I'm just going to go and dry all this off. There we go. Dry off the handle too. I'll put this back where it belongs. And now I'm going to go ahead and just dab all of these. Just make sure they're all good. Fold it over a little bit. Continue dabbing. I think most of them are dry, but... I just want to make sure, like so the, the two over here are probably not dry yet. There we go. Just throw that away. And now I'm going to go ahead and continue with the, well, drawing at hand. Um, how ha happy am I with it so far? Uh, not super happy, I ain't gonna lie. Not super happy. And it's just one of those things where I'm just kind of like, eh, I, I like the whole idea of doing it monochromatic and everything like that. Uh, but honestly, I am not the most happy uh, with how the monochromatic look turned out. Uh, it is what it is. It's not something I mind. Uh, but I do think I would have preferred doing it in a bunch of different colors. Uh, but either way, I am going to finish up this drawing. I'm not just going to let it sit and I'm not, not going to finish it. And as said, halfway through, just because I'm not liking it right now doesn't mean I'm not going to not like it when it's done. Or does not mean that I'm not going to not like it when I'm done. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. I think I'm taking myself a little bit too seriously right now. I'm taking myself a little bit too seriously. I need to chill out and I just need to be like, I don't give a cut. I don't give a crap kind of thing. I don't give a crap. There we go. Well, I don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> there we go. God, I can't be taking myself too seriously, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a dude drawing and watercolor painting in his bedroom after all. Let's see. But it is very, it is so easy, I will admit, to take yourself seriously uh, when you're really putting effort into your art and to care a lot about it because you don't want to waste your time kind of thing. You don't want to feel like you're wasting time um, doing your art. And so it's, it's very easy to, to, um, to take yourself uh, too seriously, I definitely have to say. And while I don't really think I was doing that today, I don't think I was really taking myself too seriously. I do think I was being too self-critical on myself. It's, it's one of those things where I've just kind of like got, got to take a step back, chill out for a minute, and um, just remember that, hey, it's not done yet. Everything's got a process kind of thing, and it's not done yet, so finish up the process and then decide whether you like it or not. If I don't like it when it's done, well, oh well, I don't like it when it's done. Uh, but I got to remember not to be telling myself I don't like it when it's not even done yet.
think first off, I know I've been doing the faces on these two right here. I think first off, though, I'm going to actually go ahead and just do the line going around all the balloons, or the balloons uh, outline, I do suppose, the right way of putting it. Excuse me. I think I'm actually going to start over here. You know, I do genuinely feel like I'm getting better at watercolor painting, though, so I really do have no complaints on my behalf. And I'm able to uh, self-criticize a little bit and just figure out, okay, what do I want to do better, what do I not, uh, what, what am I happy with, and what do I want to do better, and I, I really do feel like I'm making good progress with uh, learning how to watercolor pa paint just a little bit better. I still haven't watched any YouTube videos on watercolor painting, which I probably should do, I ain't gonna lie, uh, but I'm definitely uh, feeling more confident with my watercolor painting skills than I was at first, that's for sure. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I definitely am feeling a little bit tired though. I'm not used to I'm not used to drawing for this long. I'm definitely feeling a little bit tired. I'm definitely making mistakes I with my pen that I wouldn't normally make if I had just started drawing. Uh, that's for sure. But hey, that is what it is. That's what uh that's what uh watercolor painting and long drawings are all about, right? Right. Either way, this is a pretty detailed drawing, so I I, I came into this knowing it was gonna take a while. I came into this knowing it was gonna take a while. So I, I can't complain. I can't complain. I, I, I set myself up for this. <laughs> that is for sure. Joe Mama. Joe Mama, yo Mama.
But I'm glad I kind of spoke out loud about my thoughts about this. Uh, yeah, just kind of speaking out loud about it definitely does help just think it through. It just def definitely does help just help me think it through uh, just a little bit more and everything like that kind of thing. And yeah, I don't think I'm taking myself as seriously anymore, which is good because uh, you shouldn't really take yourself too seriously when you're just trying to have fun kind of thing. Who cares if you take yourself seriously when you're, when you're, well, who cares about taking yourself seriously when you're just trying to have fun? I'm trying to have fun. That's what, that's what art is all about, you know what I'm saying? It's all about having fun. And so why take yourself too seriously? Why be too self-critical? That ain't fun. That's what that is. Let's go and do all of the noses for all of these characters now. I think I'm going to go and just actually start up here. You know, I'm just trying to have fun with art, and I, I will admit when I really care about a piece of about a piece of art, and it's I, I'm starting to see how it started, how it's sort of uh, shaping up to not turn out how I wanted it to. I start uh, I start feeling a little bit disappointed, kind of thing. I'm like, man, I wanted to turn out this certain way, and I take start I start taking it a little bit too seriously. Uh, but what I always forget, and what I remember afterwards, but what I always forget while I'm actually doing the art, and what I always forget afterwards is that. You can always try again kind of thing. Who cares? Try, try again, right? Practice makes perfect. You mess up once, try it again kind of thing. And that's always what I forget. Um, it's not nothing. Don't take nothing too seriously. That's just how it goes in life and in art, right? But it's so easy to. It is so damn easy to. I'm still stuck on this topic, though. I'm going to try to figure out another topic to talk about, though. No need to take thinking too seriously. Uh, no, no need to take. Well, oh man, what was the right way I was gonna put that? No need to take yourself too seriously, but also no need to think about taking yourself too seriously, too seriously, right? That's how it goes. I completely forgot to do the outlines for these guys right here, even though I did the noses. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, so we got. I think all of the noses are done now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes, the top of the eyes, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the mouth. So I'm just gonna do the top of the eyes just like that. And I'm just gonna go and do the mouth. I'm gonna go back over and do the top of the eyes after the after I finish up the mouths, I think. Mouths, mouths. I don't know how to pronounce it. Doing everything segmented though definitely does make it just feel a little bit quicker, so that's why I like doing it this way. Oof, my arm's hanging off the page. Much better. And since it's already turned around this way, I'm just going to go and do the bottom first.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the top. There we go. And oh, nope, one more to go. There we go, perfect. And then now I've got to go ahead and do just all of the rest of the eyes, just like that. And then I've got to figure out if I actually want to add any other details to the face or not. If I want to leave it simplified, then I'm just going to go over some of the lines again. If I want to make it more complex, then I'm going to make it more complex. Uh, but I am honestly feeling kind of tired right now. Uh, so I think if I want to make it more complex, I've, I've really got to actually really want to make it more complex. Uh, but I, I'm not, not unhappy. I'm not unhappy with the look it has right now. I will admit, I'm definitely liking it a lot more, uh, than I was when it was just watercolor painted as predicted. Whoa, what a surprise. That's almost like it's always how it turns out. Uh, let's see though. Are there any more details? Well, I do suppose I should probably add the balloon string, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing that. So I'm just going to go over and I'm just going to add balloon string for all of them. And then I'm going to go back over some of the lines in the future, I think, or in a few minutes. And wow, I am actually really happy with how this is turning out now. I don't think I need any more detail or anything like that. I think I just want to go back over the faces, and I think I might want to add some nose lines. Uh, but I think that's just about all, all of the detail I want to add. And I actually don't really think it needs any nose lines, honestly. I think I'm just going to go back over a lot of the lines again and just darken it up. Darken up the bottoms of the um, balloons a little bit with my pen. And I think that's just about it. I think that's just about it. I do also want to go over the... Lot the, the balloon strings as well, just to darken those up a little bit. Although I don't think they look bad when they're not darkened up, I do think they'll look better when they are darkened up, just a little bit more of a distinct look. There we go, there we go. It's coming out, it's coming out pretty good. I am very happy with how this is coming out. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add any more facial details or anything like that. I think I'm just gonna leave it uh, as it is right now, just pretty simple. I think overcomplicating it is just gonna uh, make the drawing just too complex kind of thing. There's already a decent amount of details going on and I don't think adding any more details to the face is gonna add anything else to the drawing. Uh, and that's also partly my laziness talking, so I don't really feel like doing that right now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of drawing, this This drawing has kind of wiped me out, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a break after this for a little bit uh, if, and then decide if I wanna draw any more today. Uh, but I am definitely pretty happy with this drawing, yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy with the whole monochromatic look kind of thing. It's definitely looking a lot better than I thought it was going to look uh, about halfway through. And I, I, it's just one of those things. You always got to remember, it's, you know, when you're not done with the drawing, you just got to finish it before you really decide whether you don't like it or not kind of thing. And I, I always get ahead of myself. I always do get ahead of myself. So maybe it's just a me issue, but who knows?
Alrighty, there we go. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start darkening up a bunch of the lines. I think all of the strings are good. I think I covered every all, all, all of my bases. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start darkening up a bunch of the lines like down here and kind of darkening it up like the bottoms of the balloons and whatnot. I'm just making all of these just look a little bit better. That's pretty much the plan at least. So there we go. Perfect, perfect. And I would normally add eyebrows or something, but I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. I just don't think it's needed. I think there's enough going on where people are just going to be like, okay, it's a face. I don't think it needs any more facial detail, so I think it's just a, I think it's just a okay. That's also half my laziness talking though, because I don't really feel like doing any more details to the face or anything like that today. Oh, I completely forgot to do a balloon string for this guy right here. How could I forget? He's the biggest balloon of them all. How could I forget him? What the hell, Jacob? I can't believe me. The fuck? What the hell was I thinking? I gotta take a sip of water real quick. Oh my god. Oof. Oof. I almost forgot to give him a balloon string. How embarrassing would that have been if I had finished off the video and I forgot to give one of my balloons a balloon string? I cannot believe me. I cannot believe me. That would have been so embarrassing. Oh, and I forgot to give him the rest of his eye. This is why going over all this stuff is a really good idea. Just gets uh, lets you lets you check back in with your uh, with the growing and make sure you actually added all of the details you were supposed to add. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Cannot complain. You know what I'm saying. go ah I'm smearing it ah is what it is I guess that's what I get for working right to left. Really should be working left to right.
and just taking a look around bottom row i think all of them are good oh middle row i missed one Almost forgot to do the mouth on this one. I can't believe me. I think that's it. I think that is all done. This is a group of balloons flying through the sky. I wasn't super happy with this drawing. I wasn't super happy with this uh, piece of art, I do suppose, like about halfway through. Uh, and I've been kind of stuck on that. Oh man, I'm tired. That wiped me out. I've been kind of stuck on that for the rest of it, but uh, I, I'm really glad. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. I'm really glad I actually stuck with the monochromatic look. I'm glad I didn't switch it up. I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It turned out uh, pretty much exactly how I envisioned it turning out. Uh, and uh, yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf. There's definitely some things I definitely think I could have done better. I would have liked the blue colors to be more even all the way through. I would have liked it to be more of a light blue color, like these couple right here kind of thing. Uh, but I mean, like, hey, it's no big deal kind of thing. I can always redo this one. I'm a little bit better at doing water painting, wa watercolor painting, and try again. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am seeing one thing I want to fix right here. There we go. Fix that. There we go. Much better. Uh, I think that's just about all I had to say, though. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any constructive criticism for this drawing right here. I'm pretty dang happy with it. I ain't gonna lie. I am very satisfied with how this turned out. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. As I said, any constructive criticism y'all got, y'all y'all have, uh, leave it in the comments down below, please. And of course, any tips y'all have for watercolor painting as well, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. And make sure to like, subscribe, of course. Make sure to check out my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel, all in the description down below. But yeah, until the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. And I ain't gonna lie, yeah, drawing this, this wiped me out. I've been drawing for a little bit too long. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Till the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.